So imagine the terror I experienced at this moment. And the magic happened. The moment I was in this state of absolute horror, in just a blink like that, I entered into the space of calmness and tranquility and just, ah, it was just this space of absolute peace. And then when the scene, something started to happen, was the first thing I saw was light. So imagine the sense, like now that I am peaceful and now I am like, there is light. And the light was like the light of a candle that was coming from below. And it was this soothing, calming light, but at the same time, it was strong enough to illuminate my whole water surrounding. And the fact that before I die, I drowned, I was hearing my heart beating very loud. And I imagine the terror and I could hear it in my head. It was like a drum, like boom, 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 boom. And it was suddenly silence. All the noise was gone. And I experienced this profound, profound silence. We, we can even describe it nowadays, now that I have more words to talk about all this as like stillness that peace and that silence I, the other way I, I name it is silence behind the silence it was so profound that I craved that silence for the rest of my life so what happened next is now that I am in the light I am in this peaceful silence when I started to see bubbles and the bubbles were surrounded by light and imagine it's like, oh, wow, this is so cool. And it's when I saw these bubbles that I started to just chase them. And when I'm chasing the bubbles, I turn around and I saw my body. And my body was uh, floating there in the water with the eyes open. The body didn't have life. You know, when we said that the eyes are the expression of the soul, the heart, when I saw that face, it was like an empty shell. When I was looking at the body, it's, it's important to mention that I was born as a very sick child. For the first three years of my life, almost three years, I was always unwell. I didn't even know what well-being was. I was always sick. And then now I am in the state of absolute well-being. So imagine what I was experiencing was like, what? I, no, I'm not going back to that sick body. And at that moment, I had the clarity that I could make that decision that I don't want to go back there. And I turned around and I left the body behind. And as I turned around and left the body behind, I started to see flowers. And the flowers were blooming from nowhere. And it was this majestic feeling of this is incredible. And then even the sense of dimension uh, changed when I was now picked up by the flowers. Imagine how big a flower (laughs) would be to pick you up. And then I'm picked up by flowers and I was being carried. And I was in the state of complete relaxation, complete, ah, bliss. And it's when I put the analogy that is like going back to the womb where you don't have to do anything. You're just being carried. You're just being done. And at that moment, something (laughs) incredible happened. In just a blink, I appear in the maid's room. And I'm floating. Above her bed, she's the, she's just there listening to soap operas in the radio, not even knowing at all what is happening. And then I'm floating above her, and I'm like, "Oh, that's Maria." Nothing with Maria. 
And then after that, now in another flash like that, I appear in my mom's path. What I mean with this is that she didn't have a car. She was walking and she was almost close to her uh, bus stop. And then now, like with Maria, I'm floating above her. And I think this is the part that one, validates the experience. And two, I think blows everybody's minds away. And is that is the moment I saw my mom, I said, oh, that's mom. My mom stopped. She fell and she knew that something was happening at home with one of her babies. and she didn't even hesitate. I oh, I like to mention something because uh, at that moment, my mom had got a new job. And what is that we humans usually would do? Oh no, I have to, I mean, like really I have to go to my new job. You will not listen to that intuition because the call of responsibility with your job probably is higher. But she said that, yeah, that day she even hit her. She felt it, she heard it. She's like, it was so compelling that she, it was a pull. That it, it was not even that she could do anything else. And she turned around and she started to run back home. And then I'm looking at my mom and I'm like, oh, why? I wonder why she's running. <laughs> and then at that moment, I uh, look, I change my, my view. And at the horizon, I see a dog. And I adore animals. So the moment I see this dog, I forgot about my mom and I am with the dog. And then the moment I'm with the dog, I'm like, wow, what just happened? Then I saw a park and the moment I feel the desire of being in the park, I am in the park. So it's like, it's like now time and space as we know it had completely changed and I could be anywhere at any time just by that simple desire and then i started to play a game this is so much fun i'm playing this game of going places and then this is when another incredible thing happened and is in another jump in another flash everything in this experience was like that so in another flash i am in a realm that is made of pure bright, intense, shiny light. And when I am in this realm is when I fell for the first time. Again, it was that feeling. That when we talk about feeling before seeing, it was the feeling of, I am home. I am home. Yeah, the first thing I perceived was this light, but it, was, it came immediately with, oh, the sense like I am back home. And you know, the sense of home, you feel welcome, embrace, it feels so good. And this is the moment when something also incredible happened. Despite that I had seen my body suspended in the water, I did not have the realization that that was not me. I was still, of course, the mind and the body attached. And at this moment is when I realized I am not that. I am not that. I am not that body. I'm not that persona. And I realized myself as a being of light. And at that moment, it was like I started to feel the sense of dissolving, connecting with everything. I just completely detached and I experienced what I call nothingness and some people may say that nothingness seems scary what do you mean <laughs> nothing and I said yeah it, it was that, that sense of nothing absolutely nothing I could describe or give a name or give um texture or color or form or meaning or and when I say this to give an analogy, somebody shared this with me and I thought it was an incredible analogy. Imagine that all you knew about yourself was a little box in the middle of a stadium. And that's what you thought you were, that little box. And suddenly that box opens 
and you realize oh, it's nothing because it's nothing I thought I was, but it's wholeness because it turns in the totality of everything. And at that moment, it was that sense of complete interconnection, knowing that you're not a separate entity in that box, you are that totality. You're connected with everything. And it was that sense of expansion and that sense of, it's, it's, you lack words. I think all of us that have had these experiences, like you don't know how to explain that. And this was all coming from the center. It was like oh, expansion. And I, I think the only words I could say is a state of pure consciousness and absolute presence. When I am in this state of being my mom, finally arrives home. And this is amazing because we live in a pretty big house, but she knew exactly where to go. And she could, if she would have decided to go to another room, of course, the body cannot <laughs> hold that much. But one thing that saved my body was that the water was frigid cold. So my mom uh, ran to the patio and right there where um, my sister was still there and she was trying to get me out of the tank herself. So when my mom entered the patio, she looked at, at my sister and my sister said, Ingrid is there and I cannot get her. My mom jumped in the tank. She got me out. She said that I was like a raggedy doll. No poles, no breathing, completely pale, blue nails, leaves. And then my mom, this is everything I just keep saying, this is incredible, but it's like that because there's all these synchronicities in life also that uh, were playing their part. And is that my mom worked with children and she had received some training to do CPR for children. So my mom knew exactly, she, she didn't know that training. Maybe she, I don't know what she would have done, but she, at that moment she started to do anything she knew to revive me. And I was so disconnected from this body that I did not feel absolutely anything, nothing she was doing. The only thing that I felt is that suddenly I felt that I had jumped from the tallest building in the world and there was nothing I could do to stop this and I felt the sense that I was falling like no it was a sense of like vacuum and my reaction to that was like no I didn't want to come back 